Vot Tiden, the Eivor. In Essex, I played a matchmaker and a heartbreaker. An easy way to forge an alliance, but... Let us stick to war and diplomacy. Understood. Thank you, Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. Go now, and I will bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croydonay by now. Basket of Wessex, land of plenty. Go, Zunin. be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Guttrum Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl, I'm sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Guthrum Jarl, Saxon Bane, and Reaver of the South. I am honored to meet you at last. Respect where it's due. I like that. Here's hoping you fight as smoothly as you talk. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Portchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? 
Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendine. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised. With mighty Eivor at our head, we can... They said there would be a scout in this hill. I smell blood on the air. I smell blood on the air.
Show me what lies ahead. A scout patrols the riverbank north of Crowley. Okay, scout. Right where Basim said he would be. Show this to Basim once I've dealt with the others. Aid me. Be my eyes. Do you see?
Time to die! Lad, my friend. Watch out! The scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. Leaders should not second-guess themselves. Nobody respects a tremble heart. I have known plenty as brash as you. Not many are left in this world. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Fulke has news of Croindon's fall. She is gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I'm reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew of. What's done is done. Save your breath in the fight.
Master's head is mine! Not if I get there first, slow ass. Leave him! The day is already won! <laughs> <laughs> Sigurd the sickly, the Sigurd dies. I will find your cause and miss on it. You bear your false deities like a plague to this land. But you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey. Let me see what lies beyond. When you see your god, tell him I sent you. <laughs> He's dead, Eivor. No breath within him. You are wounded, Broder. Let me bear your brother to the camp. He was always quicker than me. Beat me out of the womb by mere moments. Now he has beat me to Valhalla. Even in death, he had to be first. This crow feast is my doing. No blame. Reckless stripling. I warned you the risk was too great! Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? In spite of our losses, we claimed victory here. Arguing over blame will not bring the dead back. If this is what a Raven Clan victory looks like, I cannot wait to see what happens when you lose. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. And too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But Folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But know you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, Raven Feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor. I will hear you, Guthrum Saxon Bane, if you wish to speak your peace. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected. Strike swift. Gather your allies. Pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger. 
But there is wisdom in what he says. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. I will take care of the camp myself. Once I have cleared it out, we'll move our warriors in. I'll risk no more losses. After that, we should strike at Fulke's supplies all across Suffolk. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth. Gildeford and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley. Food in Gildeford. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uba, I need your axe arm at Gildeford. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I will join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Soma and Uba, I apologize. I would have liked to offer better welcome after your long journey. I'm only sorry we could not be here sooner. We'll need a short while to organize the men. Then we'll set off as soon as we're able. Stretch your wings, Sunan. The guards here are vigilant. against all of you. I like those odds. Yeah. <laughs> 
Focus, we have to go. lends me strength. Shouldn't be seen. Hildeford is a town of farmers and grain silos. Uber will be nearby. All is ready? We're a town of farmers and shepherds. This place bristles with swords. One of them is a thane by his dress. Serious men with him, too. Went into the longhouse. If we take care, we might avoid drawing the thane's attention while we burn the grain silos. Ha! <laughs> Was that a jest? 
Bring them on! Been too long since I met a Saxon warrior worth half a shit.
Survey the area sooner.
it over. I was just working up a sweat. There will be Saxons enough to test you in Porchester. I will hold you to that. See you at the camp. Saxon so and so. Bridgeworth, the forest of Saxon so and so waits within those walls of stone. I should consult with Batham. He will be nearby. What have you discovered? Bridgeworth swarms with guards, reinforced from the river. Word is that two of Fulke's finest oversee such matters. We should kill these leaders and burn their ships. Crippled and put to panic, our men will be in no place to join Fulke at Porchester. Frightened men look to their own interests. A good plan.
See you, old friend. sailing for these Saxons. Indeed. Thank you. 
I need your eyes. down, one to go. The other should be near the boats. On my way. Aid me. Be my eyes. Work is done. Fulke will have no help from Bridgeworth now. See you back at camp.
Soma, what is happening here? Bandits, taking advantage of the disorder in Suffolk to fill their pockets. Odin smiles on us today. Let us make sure this place is burned to the ground. Fulke will get no more weapons from here. We could charge in while they are distracted, but it would be safer to use fire arrows. We burn them from afar. Watch them scatter like cats. A sound decision. I agree. Archers! Take your positions! Stand ready, Eivor! When they see us, they will charge. We must defend the men! Enough! Crowley dances with hearth tongues. Soon it will be ashes.
So, my Jalskona, you seem grave. I'm thinking on the battle to come. Every conflict has a cost. I wonder who will pay this time. We are no strangers to loss, you and I. The ache of absent souls is a wound that never heals. But we may yet return your brother to your side. There is that. Fulke and her men will bear the cost today, not us. I wish I were as sure of it as you. Birsten, I'm glad to see you again. How is your family? Alvida keeps my house and heart in order. She has even charmed that old shrew, Adred. And Elleridge? He has not returned. I hear stories of a man full of tempests, picking fights in taverns. We must hope. When hope is all we have. I'm sorry for your troubles, but glad for your help. I have brought for you a ram of unsurpassed craftsmanship. Their gates will not hold long against it. That is a fine gift indeed. I will make good use of it. Fight hard, Eivor. When have I done otherwise? Bishop Deola. Strange to see a man of God on the battle lines. It may surprise you, but I was no stranger to horse and hunt in my younger days. It is Saxons we fight this day, Deolav. Not Britons, and not in Mercia. It is Fulke I fight. A false Christian preaching a corruption of God's word. If I can assist in her downfall, I will. Then you're welcome here, friend. Uber, any advice before we begin? Advice? You need none of that now. You stand in no one's shadow, Eivor. Lofty praise from the son of Ragnar Lofbrook. It may be that one day our paws lead us to doom, Eivor. But at least we can say the footprints we left were our own. You are quite the agent of chaos. Fulke's men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Poor Chester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come, not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As a keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter on one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once, or you might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear. We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin. I left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone. 
We have nothing to settle. Die on these walls, if you will. It is your choice. No wall is high enough to keep me from you. Then come. Claim your brother if you can. I shall wait with him. If you would find us, you need only follow his screams. Fulcay! What will the Skalds say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter that Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blackened the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters, for today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> I'm coming for you, brother. So many battles and so few scores, Basil. What's your secret? Don't get hit. Aha! The simplest strategies are the best. The other way! Let's take down that palisade! Oh! <laughs> 
Sigurd was here once, but no longer. Where has Fulke taken him? <laughs> Is this Sigurd's blood? Still fresh. Every instant of your torment, Fulke will suffer tenfold. Church! Fulke must have taken him there! Come on, Basim! Face us, Fulke! Your cowardice betrays you! Lends me strength. Ah, this door will need the strength of two. Give me a hand over here. I've done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. No! No! Brother! Brother! I'm here for you. I have you. Let me stay with him. You deal with Fulke. I'll come back for you. I promise. You cower from me, Fulke, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. 
I need nothing from you. A pity to kill one with such potential. Where are your fine words now, Paladin? Blind of mind, blind of sight. Are you afraid, Fouke? My cause is greater than you can comprehend. Like Sigurd, then you know. Do you not wonder, Aver, at the things I have learned? Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one, an archon, Nephilim, Isu, call him what you will. He is reborn. He is my brother and my Jarl. And you are mind sick. He is everything we should hope to be. Fulke! Damn you to hell! Fulke! You can't run from me forever! Nobody touch her. She's mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave. Understanding that gift, you gave him pain. Yes, to awaken him. All that power, all that potential locked away. necessary to free him. Now you, Eivor, you 
must carry it forward. Sigurd. I can walk. Let me... Let me walk. Sigurd. Eivor. I will... I will fight. As a thresher through a field of weed, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor! We delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I'll hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the walls! Is that the last of them? We have beaten them back for now, but without Guthrum's army, we do not have the numbers to hold this fort. We found Sigurd. That is what matters. Guthrum was hasty in his judgment, Eivor. You are fit to stand with the best of us. Go to your brother. The words of one beloved will heal him faster than herbs. I will see to matters here. May the gods guide you, Uber. Until we meet again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 